South Africa's new interim coach is eager to make an immediate impact when her charges take on Egypt for the first time. The match will be an appetizer for the upcoming Africa Women's Cup of Nations in Cameroon, where Egypt and South Africa find themselves in Group A along with the tournament hosts. We do know that they beat Ivory Coast and we all know about Ivory Coast. Um, they've played friendlies against both Zimbabwe and um, um, Zambia. Um, and the players that went to Zambia and Zimbabwe, 18 of the players are here. National captain Janine van Veek says that Ellis brings a calmness to the side and will establish her own culture after the departure of Vera Powell. Well, Des has been around for a very long time. Um, she was a national team player herself, uh, captain as well, and she's been under Vera Powell's wing for, for two years. So um, it's not something that we need to get used to or adapt to as players. She's been around. We, we feel as players we are, we are comfortable with her and we can give our input as well, you know, from the players' point of view. Ellis says that the Egyptians, who are ranked 32 places below Banyana, an unknown entity, but the match will provide valuable insights into the Northern Africans for the upcoming AWC tournament next month. We haven't thought about that at all. Um, we're just thinking ahead of this game, first of all, um, because that is the most important thing. Our focus needs to be on one thing and not all over the place. And hopefully after that we will sit down and we do have footage of, um, you know, we got footage of Zimbabwe and obviously we don't play Egypt first, so we will have a look at them as well. South Africa find themselves with a tough task to progress out of what is essentially the tournament's group of death. But should the new woman in charge of Banyana Banyana manage to do so, it will be a massive step towards making her appointment a permanent one. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.